Welcome to Miss K Movie Recap. Her new boyfriend tricks Lucy into delivering a briefcase to a supposed business contact. The once carefree student is abducted by thugs who intend to turn her into a drug mule. She is surgically implanted with a package containing a powerful chemical. But it leaks into her system giving her superhuman abilities including telekinesis and telepathy with her former captors in pursuit Lucy, seeks out a neurologist who she hopes will be able to help her. Spoilers ahead, watch out and be careful. We see a cell split into many more cells. Then we see a monkey from prehistoric times. Drinking from a lake, Lucy explains that life began billions of years ago and considers what we have. I'm done with it since then. Lucy is currently standing outside a hotel in Taiwan with her boyfriend of one week. Richard asks her to take a briefcase up to Mr. Jang's room. She refuses to do anything for Richard without knowing what he wants to deliver. So he handcuffs Lucy. With her wrist pressed to the handle of the briefcase, she enters the lobby and informs the clerk that Richard has sent her up to Mr. Jang. She then cautiously gives her name to the clerk. Lucy looks out the window to see Richard smiling and trying to be encouraging until he is shot and killed a group of thugs come out of the elevator and force Lucy to go up with them. The scene was recorded with the clip of a cheetah chasing a gazelle, mauling it, and then carrying the gazelle's corpse in its teeth. They take Lucy to Zhang's apartment. There are bloodied corpses on the floor causing Lucy to vomit. Mr. Jang comes out with his hands soaked in blood. He rings up a man on the phone to translate for Lucy. She cries not knowing what is going on or why any of this is happening. Mr. Jang writes down numbers on a piece of paper, which is the code to open the briefcase. Zhang steps into the next room while his men arm themselves with guns and shields. Lucy opens the briefcase, which contains four bags of blue powdered substances. Mr. Jang brings in a drugged-up man to snort some of the blue powder. The man briefly convulses and then starts laughing maniacally until Mr. Jang shoots him in the head. Lucy is then ordered to do a job which she refuses to do until she gets smacked. Lucy awoke in a hotel room. She had a bandage on her stomach. Jang's guys enter and throw her some clothes. She is taken to Mr. Jang, along with three other guys. A British man known as the Limey enters to inform Lucy that she and the other males have had a medication called CPH4 inserted into their lower intestines. The medicine is rumored to be the next great thing on the market, and they want to smuggle it around the world. Afterwards, Lucy is taken to a room and chained up where one of the thugs starts kicking her in the stomach right where they cut into her. This causes a tear in the drug bag leaking the powder into Lucy's system. She begins to writhe and thrash all across the room even reaching up to the ceiling until she falls back down to the floor. As all of this happens we meet Professor Samuel Norman giving a lecture to a classroom on his research of the brain's capacity. He essentially explains what could happen if humans could exceed the suggested 10% brain capacity that they use, as well as its responses to certain environments that would allow the brain to submit to immortality or reproduction. Basically, if the subject doesn't like their environment, they would choose immortality and move elsewhere, but if they were happy with their setting, they would be inclined to reproduce. If, say, humans could reach up to 40%, they could manipulate matter. One student asks Norman what would happen if humans reached 100%. He says he has no idea. Lucy reawakens with her eyes glowing bright blue. She sits upright calmer than before a thug comes into the room, and Lucy spread her legs to tempt him. The thug smiles and lays down his gun on the table. As he walks over to her, Lucy grabs his belt and flips him over, then pulls the table over to take the gun. 
After she frees herself, she shoots the other thugs as they're eating she gets shot in the shoulder but is able to dig the bullet out without feeling pain she then eats all the thugs' food before leaving she finds two men outside and gets one of them to take her to the hospital on her way to the hospital Lucy as Abletto hear people's voices from outside the car when she gets to the hospital she is able to clearly read the signs as if they were in English to her she gets to an operating room where doctors are working on a man and then shoots the man, adding that they would not have been doctors otherwise. We were able to preserve him because the tumor his brain had spread far enough. She forced the physicians to take the bag out of her tummy. She phones her mother to tell her that she feels everything in the air. Blood in her veins, heat leaving her body and even has access to the deepest sections of her memory, including when she was unwell as a youngster and even petting a cat when she was barely a year old. She tells her mom she loves her. Before hanging up, he doctor pulls the bag of drugs out of Luce's stomach, and after she tells him that it's CPH4, he tells her that this is something that pregnant women produce six weeks into their pregnancy as nutrients for the fetus, and that the doctor is surprised Lucy has survived this long with it in her body. Lucy makes one more stop back to the hotel to find Jang as he is in the middle of getting a tattoo and a facial she kills his guards and then shoes the tattoo artist away before sticking knives in both Jang's hands with her newfound powers she taps into his brain and sees where the other three drug mules are going based on images of their plane tickets. Jang exclaims in pain as she leaves, screaming. Lucy goes to her friend's flat. Caroline will use her laptop. She reads all of Norman's research. In a matter of seconds, she phones him tell him what she's read. He is startled to learn that she reads. Even now, she continues to describe how she feels. She has now contacted us. Up to 20 brain capabilities. She is able to manipulate electronics making her appearance on the TV in Norman's hotel room as well as his phone and the radio she plans to meet with him in 12 hours before leaving she prints out a prescription for Caroline telling her that her liver and kidneys are failing and that she needs to make new lifestyle choices and she'll be okay the news about Lucy shooting the patient has spread so as she makes her way. Through the airport, she changes her hair color and style. She calls a French policeman, Captain Pierre Del Rio, to inform him of the other drug mules. She then boards the plane and continues her research on the brain, typing on her laptop at rapid fire pace. The flight attendants ask her to turn off her computer, and Lucy asks for a glass of champagne while also telling one flight attendant to wipe her nose without looking, and the lady's nose bleeds after. Lucy is given the champagne glass and toasts to knowledge she sips and then 40% flashes on screen she discovers a tooth in her drink and then she spits up three more teeth then her skin starts to disintegrate in plain sight of the passengers and flight attendants Lucy runs to the bathroom where her fingers start to disappear and her face begins to melt she pulls out the rest of the CPH4 and snorts it restoring herself to normal but she passes out. Lucy wakes up in a hospital room with Del Rio and a few other officers and doctors waiting right after they have apprehended the other mules. She sits up instantly to the alarm of a nurse. Meanwhile, one of Jang's henchmen, Ji, comes in with more armed men to find the other mules. They take them into a room and cut the drugs out of them after killing them. Lucy leaves the room and is surrounded by armed men with a wave of her fingers. She is able to put them all to sleep except for Del Rio. Together they find Zhang's men and with her brain function now at 60%, she moves them around the hall and prevents Ji from escaping with the briefcase full of drugs by creating a sort of invisible wall. She swipes the drugs from Ji and starts to leave but orders Del Rio to go with her. He thinks he is of no use to her but she walks over to him and kisses him asking him to come as a reminder. Lucy utilizes her abilities to discover a new location taking over Del Rio's automobile and driving recklessly through the streets she admits she has never driven before. Jang and Ji followed Lucy and Del Rio. Locate Norman and his colleagues in university where she begins to disclose all she has realized with her the brain power is now greater than that of regular human being while this happens. 
Jang and his men infiltrate the place and start shooting Lucy gives the rest of the CPH-4 to the professors for them to synthesize into a liquid material that goes into her bloodstream. Her brain function goes to 70% and her hands start to turn into a black wormy sort of goo that attaches itself to the computers in the room giving Lucy more energy from matter and thereby supplying her with an insane amount of power as her brain function continues to increase. She manipulates matter in such a way that she seems to erase everything in the room leaving the professor standing in white space before creating some kind of new age supercomputer before their eyes from outside as Jang's men are shot down by the police. He orders Ji to do something he takes a rocket launcher and blasts through the room sending Lucy thousands of miles to Times Square. She manages to move time with a wave of her hand she moves backward from the early 20th century New York to colonial time even all the way to prehistoric ages to come. Face to face with the chimp from opening scene, they touch their fingers and send Lucy travels through the universe and all of space and time, giving her unlimited and endless power. Jang enters the room and slowly raises his gun to lose his head, and suddenly she reaches 100%. Her body disappears leaving her clothes behind. Jang shoots his firearm at nothing. Del Rio steps in and shoots Jung to death. The black substance in the room disappears and changes into a flash drive that lands in Norman's hands, thus increasing after finishing his search. Del Rio asks where Lucy is, and a message comes on his phone saying, I am. The film finishes with an overhead image of Jang's corpse, while Lucy's voice states this is what is possible with life. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for supporting my channel.